The St. Helena Cloud Forest Project is a highly collaborative, multi-year project to implement the St. Helena Peaks National Park Management Plan under three key work strands or pillars. The Peaks National Park is home to 250 unique species known as endemics, which are not found anywhere else in the whole world. This includes endemic plants and invertebrates, and represents one-sixth of the unique species the UK government is responsible for from all its overseas territories and within the UK. The Cloud Forest Project aims to significantly increase the scale of habitat restoration taking place in the Peaks National Park. This includes increasing the number of plants propagated in the two nurseries, as well as increasing the staff resource within the Peaks conservation teams. Habitat restoration starts with seed and seedling collection and plant propagation of species which are endemic and native to the cloud forest habitat. Seed and seedlings collected from as many remaining wild individuals within the same populations are used for propagation. Many of these have been planted in accessible and easy to maintain areas called living gene banks. These areas represent a living resource and supply of seed for new plants to be used in habitat restoration. The plants are propagated in the two nurseries, one at EMD, Scotland, and the other on the peaks. Some of the more difficult to grow species, like ferns, may be propagated in the new laboratory at Scotland, recently set up by EMD Scotland and the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew. Once they germinate, seedlings are grown on and cared for in the nursery until they are ready to plant out. Invasive clearance is necessary to provide space for these new plants to grow. After the initial clearing and planting, repeat visits to the site are needed to give the endemic plants a chance to establish and thrive. The peaks are home to invertebrate species not found anywhere else in the world. Part of the project is to identify these species and to gain a better understanding of their ecology so we can ensure the work being done is helping to protect them. The St Helena National Trust is leading on this aspect of the work and they do so by monitoring what is found on the peaks, where it lives and what plants they rely on. Visiting researchers are helping conservation workers to better understand the genetic diversity of species as well as the impact of plant pathogens to help improve the way we undertake conservation.